Okay, today we're doing the Purdue pegboard test. And you want to start with the client in a comfortable position directly in front of the board. You want all these cups to be at the top of the board with 25 of these pin, pegs in the left and right cups. You want to have, if the client is right-handed, you want to have 40 washers on the right side of center and the collars on the left side of center. You want to switch that if they're left-handed. So, we start the test. We say, this is a test to see how quickly and accur accurately you can work with your hands. Before you begin each battery of the test, you will be told what to do, and then you will have an opportunity to practice. Be sure you understand exactly what to do. For the right-hand test, you have 30 seconds. Pick up one pin at a time with your right hand from the right-handed cup. Starting with the top pole, place each pin in the right-handed row. Now you may insert a few pins for practice. If during the test you drop a pin, do not stop to pick it up. Simply continue by picking up another pin out of the cup. So you let them practice for three or four. You say, okay, stop. Now take out the practice pins and put them back into the right-handed cup. When I say begin, place as many pins as possible in the right-handed row, starting with the top pole. Work as rapidly as you can until I say stop. Are you ready? Yes. Begin. <laughs> and you would let them continue this for 30 seconds. So we can just stop. Yeah, stop. That's an example. And then you'll count the number of pins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you would record that for the right hand score. Now for the left hand, you'll also have 30 seconds. Pick up one pin at a time with your left hand from the left handed cup. Place each pin in the left handed row starting with the top hole. You may insert a few pins for practice. And so then they get to practice again and put them back. Now take out the practice pins and put them back in the left handed cup. When I say begin, place as many pins as possible in the left-handed row, starting with the top hole. Work as rapidly as you can until I say stop. Are you ready? Yes. Begin. And so they would begin placing them in the left hand again for 30 seconds. And then you would count them and record that as the left-handed score. Um, after those, after both the right and left-handed tests are completed, the subject rerun returns all pins to the proper cups and they use the both hand um, test. For this part of the test, you will use both hands at the same time. Pick up a pin from the right-handed cup with your right hand, and at the same time, pick up a pin from the left-handed cup with your left hand. Then place the pins down the rows. Begin with the top hole of both rows. Now you may practice. So I practiced. Okay. Take out the practice pins and put them back in their cups. When I say begin, place as many pins as possible with both hands, starting with the top pole of both rows. Work as rapidly as you can until I say stop. Are you ready? Yes. Begin. So she would have 30 seconds to complete this activity. I would say stop. <laughs> then you want to count the total number of pins inserted and record the score. The subject then returns all the pins to the proper cups. So the right plus left plus both sum of scores, you don't do a separate test for this, you just combine all the scores from all three tests. Finally is the assembly section. Pick up one pin from the right-handed cup with your right hand. While you are placing it in the top hole in the right-handed row, pick up a washer with your left hand. As soon as the pin has been placed, drop the washer over the pin. While the washer is being placed over the pin with your left hand, pick up a collar with your right hand. While the collar is being dropped over the pin, pick up another washer with your left hand and drop it over the collar. This completes the first assembly consisting of a pin, a washer, a collar, and a washer. While the final washer for the first assembly is being placed with your left hand, start the second assembly immediately by picking up another pin with your right hand. Place it in the next hole, drop a washer over it with your left hand, and so on, completing another assembly. 
Now take a moment to try a few practice assemblies. Okay, great. So then you would ask him to stop and return the pins. And then when it's time to start, I would say, when I would say begin, make as many assemblies as possible, beginning with the top hole. Work quickly until I say stop. You give them one minute and then tell them to stop. So since each one of these has four parts, they're each worth four points. So you count the total number that they've assembled and multiply it by four. So for instance, she did two, so her total score would be eight. And that's the end.